Good afternoon. Uh, you may be wondering why uh, you know, we just uh, chose to show you that video from uh, the Lumina Foundation. Uh, one of strate uh, GSI's strategic goals really going forward is related to educational attainment, uh, specifically uh, for 60% of the adult population to achieve a post-secondary degree. That includes uh, an AA, a BA, uh, a BS, PhD, uh, you know, something beyond high school. And so that's very, very important to us and, and to the business community, uh, you know, in general. And so you'll be hearing a lot more about that as time comes, you know, time goes on. Um, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Michael Sensky. I'm president and CEO of Pearson Packaging Systems here in Spokane and the incoming chair uh, of Greater Spokane Incorporated. Uh, I want to start by thanking Dr. Paul Ramsey and Dr. Lisa Brown uh, for sharing uh, the recent developments at the Academic Health Sciences Center. Uh, clearly this project and this ongoing endeavor is going to have a really profoundly positive effect on our region and its economy. So thank you for giving us the, the update today. Um, when I left Spokane uh, to go to college at the University of Washington and later uh, to work at, at Microsoft, I never really thought I'd be returning to Spokane. I assumed that I'd continue to live and work in the Seattle area and that my visits to Spokane would be, you know, occasionally coming back during the holidays to visit family and friends. After nearly 10 years of living uh, in, the, in the Seattle area, I had the opportunity to come back to Spokane, join Pearson Packaging Systems. My wife and I, my wife Jennifer and I, made the decision to, to move back, and we packed our bags and, and came back. What intrigued me, really, about the opportunity to work at Pearson and to come back was the fact that it was a small, privately held manufacturer on the West Plains of, of the Spokane area that provided uh, machinery and automation solutions to really some of the largest companies in the food, beverage, and personal care industry really in the world. There are customers like Kraft, Nestle, Unilever, Procter & Gamble, uh, Coca-Cola. Um, Pearson is a fantastic example of a company that's really a net exporter for the region. We sell our machines, we sell our systems all over the world to the companies that I just mentioned. And those dollars that we generate come back into the economy here in Spokane uh, that, that uh, you know, benefit the entire, the entire region. Uh, and Pearson is just one example of many businesses that have, uh, you know, a similar impact on, on the region. So since we've really moved back to Spokane, um, uh, our region has really changed a great deal, and I think for the better. I've really grown to appreciate Spokane as a mid-sized city that has many of the amenities of larger metropolitan areas with an affordable cost of living, uh, a well-trained and hard-working workforce, surrounded by tremendous natural resources, as evidenced by the, the weather today, uh, and, and frankly, with very little time spent idling in traffic, which is, which is great. I've also grown to appreciate the fact that there's really an opportunity in this community uh, for people to get involved and affect real change. I've personally chosen to get involved in Greater Spokane Incorporated over the past several years, and it's been a very rewarding experience. I'm, I'm very uh, honored to have the opportunity uh, to lead such a, such a wonderful organization uh, you know, going forward. Um, and frankly, I want to thank Jeff Phillips for the time and the effort that, that he's put in over the last year and for all the previous chairs. Uh, you know, it's going to be difficult shoes to fill, but, but uh, you know, really appreciate everything that you've done and look forward to, to giving it my best. What I most appreciate about GSI is really their absolute commitment uh, to creating a more favorable business environment, retaining and recruiting uh, businesses to the region in order to create a healthy and a sustainable economy uh, that provides opportunities uh, for the residents of our region and for our children and our grandchildren uh, in the future. As you know, uh, after 20 years of service, Rich Hadley uh, is going to retire. Um, uh, Linda Elkin, uh, the regional president of U.S. Bank, and Scott Morris, the CEO of Avista, uh, are co-chairs of a search committee that is being created to help recruit Rich's successor and, and the next leader, the next CEO for Greater Spokane Incorporated. Uh, this committee will be responsible really for creating a job description, qualifications and skill, um, creating a compensation plan, vetting uh, interested candidates, conducting preliminary interviews, selecting final candidates, uh, and ultimately uh, selecting a successor. And as, as I think Jeff mentioned earlier, we hope to have that process complete really uh, in the April time frame and, and, and be able to introduce uh, somebody to you at that point in time. 
Uh, Linda and Scott will also be conducting meetings with key stakeholders throughout the community uh, to solicit input as part of this process. Both Linda and Scott believe very strongly that this additional input will help the selection committee to successfully recruit a candidate well suited to lead the organization and represent our region going forward. Although it's going to be very, very difficult to find a candidate that has the work ethic, the sense of purpose, uh, and really the passion for this community that Rich has demonstrated in his tenure at GSI, I'm confident that we'll be successful in doing so. Uh, it certainly isn't going to be easy. So I really want to close by thanking Rich for everything that you've done for Greater Spokane and for the entire region. Uh, thank you very much, and, and thank you all for coming this afternoon. <laughs>